Well, hey, Image Church, I know I'm getting on here a little bit late and I do apologize for that. But if you guys tuned in this weekend, I mentioned that each day this week, I'm going to try and hop on here and record just a little bit of what Jesus went through during Holy Week. Um, we have some pretty good guesses based on the four historical accounts that we see in the Gospels and just some things historically that tell us about what Jesus was doing each day throughout. So yesterday we talked about Sunday being the triumphal entry into Jerusalem that Jesus came in riding on a donkey and they yelled out, Hosanna, Hosanna to the king. They laid out palm fronds, they laid out their coats because they were welcoming this king and they had these huge expectations for what he came to do. But then we know that the week ends with them shouting out, crucify him. And, and we want to look this week at what happened between Sunday to that good Friday that they decided to crucify our Lord. So as, as we look at this, we just want to read some scripture based on what's going on here. We want to take a look at the events surrounding Jesus' last days and see what we can learn from this. So for those who tuned in yesterday, today you actually learned a little bit about yesterday during the sermon because historically we believe that while Jesus came in on Sunday, on Monday is actually the day that he would curse the fig tree. And if you guys remember, we talked about the fact that when Jesus curses the fig tree, this is such a, a symbol of how important it is to Jesus that we bear fruit. That when Jesus came across this fig tree that had leaves, which should be a sign that there's fruit on the tree, and he came to the tree and there was no fruit there to be harvested. He, he cursed the tree and it withered and died. You see, this was a reminder of the power of faith, the power that God has over all creation, but it's also a reminder to us that God takes is seriously our, our, our call to bear fruit in our lives. We looked at the fruits of the Spirit, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So we remember that we are called as Christians to bear fruit. We also think historically on Mondays when Jesus actually would have entered the temple, temple and cleansed out all the wickedness that was going on there. And the recap from yesterday's sermon was that when we tolerate wickedness, we reject truth. You see, when we're left chasing after experiences, chasing after the excitement and rejecting truth, then we will tolerate all sorts of wickedness both inside the church and in our lives while ultimately rejecting what is true. And, and the truth becomes offensive to us because when people tell us what is true, it threatens our way of life. We have come to tolerate so much wickedness that the truth becomes a threat to, to us being autonomous, being in charge of our own life, being able to do exactly what we want to do, exactly when we want to do it. You see, this is the threat. This is idolatry. This is us chasing after what we value most instead of surrendering to the God who made us. And, and the truth is that the God who made us knows how to live the life that he designed us to live. He, he's not trying to keep us from anything but pain and death, and he's actually inviting us into life and life abundant. So today, the passages that we actually look at today, Jesus cursed the fig tree, he cleared the temple, and today he returns to Bethany with the 12 of his disciples as he continues this ministry in his last week of life. If you're following along throughout this Holy Week, today is Monday. We've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all culminating on Sunday, which is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We celebrate the fact that he did not stay in the grave, that he conquered sin and death for us so that we could have the opportunity to surrender to him and be buried with Christ and raised to walk in new life. This is the gospel. This is the beautiful thing. This is like Christian Super Bowl. This is the pinnacle of celebrating the gospel. But if you've been around our church for any length of time, you know that we really celebrate the gospel each and every week. So we encourage you and invite you to join us on Sunday, April 17th. Um, we're going to have a great service plan, and we're just going to have some good time of studying the Word of God, reminding ourselves of why it is that we gather. Uh, we'll have some great food afterwards. We'll have some omelet bar and all sorts of fun things. We just encourage you to come join us for church on Easter Sunday and every Sunday. Uh, we love you guys. Be blessed and be a blessing. I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday of Holy Week.